Hey you folks, Prepper Princess. So I'm wearing a new microphone. I hope that you guys can hear me okay. There's been some complaints about some people not being able to hear me in my previous videos. So today's video is going to be about the current or uh, rising cost of food, inflation, food inflation. So I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips on how to save for food. Now, when people are talking about the prices of inflation of food, a lot of the things that they're talking about are pre-packaged products. This is things like peanut butter, uh, candy bars, frozen pizza, ready to ready to make meals like a stir fry and things like that and that is true if you are not making things from scratch you are going to pay a premium for that price because somebody has already gone to the trouble to do it for you so you are essentially trading your time for money uh, so that's the way that it works somebody has already done that for you it's saving you time but it's you're spending more money in the long run so every time i make a video about saving money on food there are always naysayers who say, we can't get those prices here, prices are different. Well, a lot of people are able to do things better than me when it comes to saving money on food because of their location. Now, if you live in a place like Alaska, Canada, New Zealand, the prices are going to be exponentially different on where you live as opposed to where I live. I live in the Silicon Valley of California, one of the most expensive places in the world to live. So I have to cut corners and save money wherever I can in every facet of my life in order to save for my dream goal, which is an income property. So um, Safeway is a national chain and they send these flyers out. They also carry them in the stores. You're more than welcome to go in there. And this week, because it is coming up on Easter. Ham is on sale. They always put the doorbusters on the front page top of the ads. Ham is currently 97 cents a pound, okay? Now my buy price for beef is $2.99 per pound. My buy price for uh, white meat like chicken or turkey is $1.99 a pound. When those things go on sale, I will buy as much as I can fit in my freezer, whether I need it or not, because I'm going to be using that food until the next cycle. Stores have 12 week cycles. So you're going to have a certain type of beef that's on sale and then 12 weeks later, it's gonna be the same type of beef on another sale. My personal favorites are London broil and tri-tip. London broil I use to make beef jerky and tri-tip I love to barbecue. This week, tri-tip is on sale for $2.99 a pound. So I went and got as much as I could fit in my freezer, okay? And I paid for this $23.62. The regular price would have been $63.12. See that? People who don't believe me, the proof is in the pudding. I don't even need to show you my receipt. I'll just show you what's on the on this. Another thing that you can do is you can check with the butcher at the meat department and ask them when their items go on clearance or go on reduced prices. This is when they are cycling through their inventory and, the, and they don't have the space to put the new product so they will greatly reduce their prices um, significantly and you can take advantage of that. I did ask my local butcher at Winco when they did that and they do it every Monday at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Fortunately, I was able to get in there and I got pork loin, sweet and sour ribs, large pack, regular 308 a pound, uh, reduced by almost half. So it was 1115, and then it went down to 669. Immediately went in the freezer. I am going to be having a barbecue in a week, so these are really gonna come in handy. A couple of other things that you can do is with your fresh fruits and vegetables, you can regrow them. So this is celery, and I used up all the celery. As you can see, cut it up, use that. And then I just put it in a coffee mug, filled it with water, dropped it in there, and as you can see, the top is regrowing. The top is not going to regrow as big as the original celery, but it is gonna save me maybe 50 cents to a dollar just by letting it sit in the windowsill for a couple of weeks, and then I'll have an extra serving of celery, something I can add to a soup or stew for flavor and crunchiness for texture. Another thing is fruits and vegetables. So. 
you want to, as much as you can, eat fresh fruits and vegetables. This week I was looking at green beans. I was looking at them in a can and I was looking at them fresh while I was at Safeway. I usually don't shop Safeway unless I see a doorbuster. My primary place of shopping is at Winco. Their prices are the best. If you have a Winco in your area, I highly, highly recommend going there. Uh, right now, pineapple is $1.48 each. So I went ahead and got one of those and watermelon, I don't think was on here, but those were $3.99 each. So I paid $6, I put them into six different Rubbermaid, Rubbermaid containers, not Rubbermaid, those are the big ones, but plastic containers and those I will be eating for my lunch. So if you were to buy a prepackaged one and they do sell the prepackaged ones for $5.99 or you can spend $5.99 and get a full pineapple and a full watermelon divided into five different pieces and it's one dollar as opposed to five dollars so again you're paying a premium for those prepackaged prices so what you want to do is eat as fresh as you can the canned green beans right now were a dollar fifty and uh, the fresh vegetables were i believe 2.99 per pound so i decided not to get any of those i do still have brussels sprouts in the fridge which i will be eating tonight for dinner so um that is just a few of the tips i know that you, this and if you say that this is not available in your area you're completely incorrect you just do not i'm sorry and i'm not trying to be harsh but you do not know how to shop if you are paying 6.99 7.99 8.99 a pound for steak if you are particular about like a really expensive cut of meat like ribeye steak something along those lines you're not you need to change the type of meat that you're eating the type the cut of meat that you're eating and find different ways to cook it so that it is something that you really enjoy and you really like so um, simplify your diet do that as much as possible and I'm going to show you what I've got in the Sun oven going I cook once a week for my breakfasts and I prepackage my lunches as I told you the pineapple and watermelon so we're gonna go ahead and go out back and I'll show you what I've got going in the Sun oven all right folks so what I have going in the Sun oven today is an almond poppy seed loaf that's made by crusties there's three ears of corn crusties is k-r-u-s-t-e-a-z and it is one of the cheapest things that you can get at the store i'm going to cut this up into 10 pieces so it's going to be 10 servings and it costs about a dollar fifty per box so a dollar fifty for a week two weeks worth of breakfast on my way to work so there is always very very cheap ways that you can eat uh, you just have to be creative um, and you know that's going to go into 10 slices i work five days a week over two weeks that's 10 slices 10 days of breakfast another thing that you guys should be taking into account is the cost that it takes to cook your food with the sun oven i am not paying anything i'm not turning on the electricity i'm not using between one and five thousand watts for my oven and my stovetop so i'm doing this completely free of charge again about a dollar fifty for two weeks worth of breakfast 75 cents a week that's that's next to nothing three ears of corn 59 cents per piece that's a dollar fifty i'll be eating one ear of corn over the next three days just sticking it in the microwave once it's cooked very very cheap uh, amazingly healthy snack don't go for the candy bars go for the fresh fruits and vegetables all right folks one other thing or a couple of other things that i wanted to share with you is eggs so eggs are amazing um, i am fortunate enough to get them from my own chickens free of charge and i also sell the excess eggs at my job uh, so fortunately i don't spend any money on my garden any money that i make from my eggs or my garden produce goes right back into the garden and i essentially break even but i still get all of the free eggs that i want however i know that this is not the case for most people uh, but eggs you can get at walmart for a dollar 89 to 219 a dozen and if you think about that you know two let's say 225 divided by 12 that's 10 25 cents per egg now these are packed full of protein uh, they're packed full of the healthy fats that you need and they only have about 75 calories each one thing that we should be taking into consideration is not the rising cost of food but the actual price that you pay for food is so incredibly cheap no matter what you're paying if you're paying ten dollars for steak imagine how much it would cost for you to own the land to feed a cow to feed the cow to butcher the cow to clean the meat and then to drive it to a place in order to purchase it the cost of meat that we are paying at the grocery store is significantly less than anything that we could possibly do ourselves on a small scale level 
Same thing goes for gardening. When you're going and you're buying fresh fruits and vegetables and you're complaining about the price, take into consideration that if you go and buy a pineapple, you can't really grow them where you live. They grow in tropical areas. They take two years for a pineapple to grow and then they are picked by somebody who has worked the farm for years, who owns the land, who uh, exports it, and then you know all the costs that would go into you know driving a boat from Hawaii to the United States, imagine all the costs that go into the production and shipment of the food. So while we continue to have the effects of inflation, please keep in mind that we are in an extremely lucky position. Uh, we should be extremely grateful for the low cost of food that we have now. And the fact that we can afford it, it's not something where we are so poor, uh, people such as in Venezuela where they cannot afford food or there are no imports and they cannot receive food. There's nowhere, even if they have all the money in the world, there's nothing to buy. So be grateful for what you have. You know, Do what you can with what you've got. Save as much as you can. Uh, change your eating habits. Eat less. Exercise more. Uh, you know, Balance is absolutely key. You're not going to be able to... You can't complain about having organic, non-GMO, uh, free-range products and then complain about the price. You're going to pay a premium for that. And the choice is essentially up to you. Do you want to pay that premium for the pre-cut carrots? Do you wanna pay the premium for the pre-mixed stir fry that you're purchasing? Or do you want to do it all yourself and save a lot of money? I hope that this video has been helpful. I know that you guys can beat inflation by making these small adjustments. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.